Dun dun dun. What just happened with Days of Our Lives today? And a lot of shenanigans. So let's get to it. So I just want to say, first of all, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for all the views I've gotten with my last Days of Our Lives video with Sunny Kiriakis leaving the show and Freddie Smith leaving the show. But also, I haven't been filming the show since he's been dipping out, so I really didn't really watch it except for today, which is 82715's review. So basically, I kind of just skimmed through it because I know some juicy shit was going on in today's episode. But anyway, uh, Ben and Abigail, see I'm starting to forget names because I haven't really watched it in like seven days. But Ben and Abigail were just being all comfortable and shit because I guess Ben was telling her that, you know what, I'm sorry for being a bitch to you about... You know, me making different plans and you just, you know, listening to me. So whatever you want to do, you know, I got your back 100%. And she was all happy about it. They had breakfast in bed and shit. So that was just their little love story, right? And then here comes Chad and he's daydreaming about Serena versus Abigail. Serena versus Abigail because he fooled around with Serena in the last episode and he still has feelings for Abigail. So he was just laying in bed and moaning and bitching about something. And as of yesterday's episode, he was with Serena, and I guess he was trying to be forward with her ass. And then um, I guess he tried to, like, make her kiss some more, and so she bitch slapped his ass. And there you go. And also, um, Hope and Rafe and Aiden, I don't really know too much of what they're going on, but I think Aiden was trying to propose, and Rafe got his job back, so, I mean, kudos to him. And from what I recall with yesterday episode, uh, Sunny, see, I'm, girl, I'm thinking about Sunny again, but no, he's out. Paul and Will had a little argument. I don't really give two shits, but that was that. And then I think the highlight of this episode was Eve, the bitch and the cunt and the motherfucker and the whore and the hooker and the scallywag, Miss Eve. She's pulling that bullshit again, boo-boos trying to frame JJ and Jennifer about some bullshit about JJ's past and how he did drugs and now she's using Paige's new flame Kyle to get info and ruin JJ life and then Paige went up to her and be like what are you doing why are you so happy and then Eve was trying to play it off like oh it's so awesome to hear from my daughter and she was like bullshit I know what you doing mom did you do this shit and then uh, Eve made a comment saying like, oh, it's all gonna happen soon, and Paige was like, what are you talking about? And it kind of clipped hanger after that. And then the biggest thing in today's episode, in my opinion, was who killed Serena? So it was revealed today that Serena was found by Eric when he tried to call her ass, and I don't really know the story between them two, why he was trying to call her, but basically he found her in the park or in the woods or something, and she was lying like this, and I was just like, oop. Someone's dead. And looking at the the comments below, a lot of people say Clyde because in yesterday's episode, that was the last person that saw her. Well, him and Chad and her, they were all together, but then he had a smirk on his face. So people are saying that he did it. Some people are saying Chad did it because he was physically the last one to be with her. And she bitch slapped his ass. So, I mean, that's already motive. But who did it? And... Yeah, that's pretty much it, because like I said earlier, I honestly, without Freddie Smith on the show, I'm not really interested, but I'm going to still continue to watch and see what goes on in future episodes, but yeah, that's about it right now, and I just want to say thanks for watching, give me that thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe, leave me comments below on what you think about today's episode or what you think so far with the show, and tomorrow is my birthday, 828 and I will be turning 22, so I would love to see comments below about giving me a shout out or something. So until next time, I will see you later. Oh, and I'm planning to do a Q&A video, a question and answer video on one of my future, well, when I have time for a future video. So also leave me comments below what you want to know about me, about my favorite stuff, my favorite characters on Days of Our Lives. I would really love to do a Q&A video, so if you guys could give me comments below or a question below, it would be awesome. So until next time, I will talk to you guys later. Bye. Have a good weekend.